Hey, welcome back to part three of our uh, video series here as we work towards the new PageDuty product. So today we're going to talk briefly about support and support models. And to do that, we're going to first talk about health insurance and the social safety net. Bear with me. Health insurance works because <clears throat> you have a large subscriber base that are paying premiums into the, into the pool. And um, only a small percentage actually extract uh, value out of the pool. So 90%, 95% of a subscriber base pays their monthly premium, uses little or no benefit. And 5% of the subscriber pool uses a lot of the benefit. You know, maybe, maybe they have some serious health issues. So in a sense, 90 to 95% of the paying users are subsidizing the 5% the that need it. Same thing with a social safety net. Um, in, a, in a system like Social Security or Medicare or in a Scandinavian country, you know, essentially the whole state, everybody's taxed a little bit to the benefit of the people that actually need the, need the service later on. And I think it's a good social construct, a good social pact. Um, you know, politics aside, I think a social safety net's a good thing. But now that we understand kind of this uh, diversifying the risk pool, Let's apply it to hosting support. So as we discussed in our last video talking about hosting plans, some percentage of that price is allocated to support, whether you use it or not. So it's sort of like the tax that we have to charge everybody so that we can subsidize and afford to help the people that actually ask for help or need the benefit. Is that always fair? I don't know. And that's what we're trying to figure out. It's important to note that website hosting is not health insurance. No one's going to die without website hosting. So we use the analogy to kind of explain the business model, but let's be clear, they're two entirely separate things. So let's talk about hosting customers. Say there's three types of hosting customers. There's one that's very self-sufficient, can read the documentation, they know how things work, and they can go on their merry way using the service, and they don't want to pay the support tax. There's this other group of users that are kind of your traditional user base. They don't mind paying a little bit of support tax, knowing that when, it's, when they need it, it's there and they can get the help they need. They're fine just paying an inflated price and subsidizing the whole system. And the third group, we'll call them the support abusers. They're the ones that use way over the allocation of the support that they've given with their plan. They're the ones that get on chat for three hours a day talking about random things things that could probably better be served by their developer or their agency versus the hosting company, but they figure they're paying us money so they deserve to get the help that they, uh, they want. They're the ones that are subsidized by everybody else. And again, it's not health insurance, so nobody's gonna die here. But is it fair to make or ask them to pay an appropriate rate for the level of support they use? I don't know, interesting question, right? So what is an appropriate support model to address these three types of users? Do you charge a small tax on everybody and give support where it's needed? Do you charge heavy support users higher fees than low support users? Do you totally decouple the product from support? You can buy the product a la carte and you can buy support separately. I don't know, I'd be interested to hear what you guys think. Um, Talking with some peers in the industry, uh, paid support models kind of get a bad rap in WordPress. People kind of feel like plugins are free, themes are free, WordPress is free, it, support should be free too. Obviously that's not sustainable. But I'm interested to hear what you guys think. I'm gonna put a little form below this video, just a little survey, and if you could, tell us which kind of support model you think makes sense for hosting. Do you want to pay a little bit of tax? No tax, a lot of tax? Because inevitably, you're going to pay for it regardless, right? You're going to pay for it when you use it, or you're going to pay for it a little bit over time with every payment. Help us figure out kind of which way to go with a good support model with this new product. Leave your answers below, and we'll see you again next time. Thank you.